Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome once again to the Bird Room. It's your boy G, and I'm glad to have you with me. So what's going on in the Bird Room? There's a lot going on in here. A week goes by and a lot happens within a week in any bird room, any of it, any all over the world. You ask somebody what's going on with this pair and then a week goes by, that same pair has this, done that, that pair done this, done that. It's crazy. So what's going on? Well, I put a pair of shaft tails, the long tail finch in a cage here, a pair. Took it out of the flight pin, put it here, okay? My owl finches in here, they got seven eggs. They're laying on their original eggs. Star finches got five or six eggs. They're laying on their original eggs. Um, Owl finches over there just laid a second egg today. Got to take that out. Um, my parrot finches, societies are laying on seven eggs or six eggs. No, I don't remember. My shaft tails, that's down here. The female split to Cremino Latino. She has five or six eggs. She's sitting on her own eggs. She's a fantastic mother, fantastic breeder. She bred these Creminos. The ones in there. The one that's in the flight pen. There's nothing here yet. And there's nothing in this cage yet. I put my... Artificial Christmas tree for the other pair of wax bills. I'm going to do a video on how you do it. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be a nice little uh, lesson for whoever wants to learn how to build nests out of Christmas tree branches. Artificial ones, fake ones. So my silver bills, Indian silver bills, they're building their own nest in here. My bronze mannequin, watch, they're building their own nest in here. Look at that, guys. They're building their own nest. Like I said, she has eggs. This is my... um. Grass mass finch. She's in there. Oh, look at the yellow beaks. <laughs> They're building their own nest. They're ready to start uh, laying. If you guys don't use coconut fibers, please go get yourself some. It's a whole different game with the coconut fibers, with the parrot finches. Look at this nest, look how beautiful this nest is. Parrot finches love it, every bird love it. It holds the nest in place. It's just fantastic, look at this. Sticks out of the, look at that. Look how they did it. They did this, not me. I place it outside like this right here, see? I put it like that. Look it. I placed it out there. Okay. These are all. And they pick it up and they do it themselves. I don't do nothing. She has a beautiful nest. Another both of them in there. Let me just shut this. Sorry. I'm gonna scare you. My ghoulians are doing well. There's one baby owl finch. I took him out. So he'll stay here for a week. That way I can monitor him. See if he's eating, drinking, everything's okay. Within two days, you will notice it right away. They'll start to act different, look different. So you grab him and put him back with mom and dad. Foster mom and dad. So everything's going well. 
Wax bills are doing great. Indian silver bills are bought to lay eggs. Bronze A mannequins are bought to start laying eggs. Strawberry finch, I'm bringing the male and the female into condition. Give me a little bit and they will be ready. Don't you worry about that. I put a female ghoulian in here with the male, some companionship. There's no nest, as you can see. They'll stay for a week without the nest. And then I will introduce the nest five days, four days, a week. It don't matter. And then I will put the nest and then they will start showing interest and then they'll do their thing. There's no rush. Okay, there's no rush. You, within that period of time, you build the female with some calcium, start building. So I'm putting calcium in the water, the natural remedies, giving everything to them. As you can notice, my waters are not even halfway. All, all, you know, almost down to empty. I don't like to waste any type of stuff I put in the water. So I put less of it for, all, for everybody. And then the next day I come and I change it. So tomorrow I will come and I will change. I put it this morning for them. So tomorrow in the, in the, in the morning I'll come and I'll change it. Let's go over here. So on this side, we got the, the cutthroat baby. Look at him. Out of the nest already. See him over there? I hope he's a male. So the female that's in the middle and that male, they are split to white with the red throat. They're split to white with the orange throat. They're split to white with the red throat. Oh, man, look at the, you see the, the rump on the female? Like, let me see, this is too much. You see how her rump is like, like a U? How it swelled up in the back? Look at, she just fluffed it up. She's laying eggs. She's laying eggs. So, and she's laying eggs where this diamond dove is, right in there. But everybody's good, as you can see. Yep, everybody's good. Okay, um, this baby here, he will stay here for another week or so. And then I'll get him out. As you can see, the nest box has been removed. Why is this? Because if I wouldn't remove it, the female of the society will start to lay eggs again and will abandon the baby, will not feed the baby. And then the baby will start getting weaker day by day and he will die. So you have to know when to take away the nest box. Okay. They are sitting on seven eggs of parrot finch. Seven, no, not seven. Six, five or six. I would never put seven eggs. But I'm pretty sure not all of them are going to be fertile. So that's what's going on here. This got the three owl finches. These owl finches are not split to frond. These are, and I have the frond. Two fronds and three splits. There's five in there. They are sitting on dummy eggs, this pair. And then I got these babies. One frond and the rest regular. They're split to frond. All these and all these. Not that one. Not this one. The one that was here is over there. He is split as well. And then I got the Ghoulians here. I think they're blue. And then I got the regular society baby. Oh, so mad because of that. I grabbed the egg from, I believe it was one of the, the feeders or whatever it was. And I placed it in there and I thought it was something else. And it was society. Hey, it is what it is. Raising babies, right? Look at this, still got my cooler. 
Just came out of work. My hair, look at that. Instead of being home, showered up already, with a nice full belly, sleeping. Not sleeping, but you know, guys, I know what I mean. I'm over here taking care of birds. Look at the baby owl finch eating. That's great news, you know? It's good to see that. But guys, everything's doing well. Everybody's doing good. Um, my canaries, soon I will put them to, uh, to start mating. I got three females and three males. Soon I'll start to show the females to the males. And uh, go from there. This pair is going to start laying soon. That starfinch pair. I got to get more cages, you know. These, I could put birds in here. That cage is empty. Like you see, this cage is empty. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Everybody's doing well. Thank you very much. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Um, I'm probably going to start doing some videos in Portuguese and Spanish. I am trilingual. I am Brazilian. Um, I'm going to start doing some. Not a lot. Most of my videos, whatever I do in English, I will try to do in Portuguese. But it won't be as long. It will be half. You know, and whatever I do in Portuguese, I will do in English for my American subscribers and stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure there's a lot of guys out there, ladies and guys, and that will uh, enjoy, you know, in the other languages. And um, I might try it. So if you guys come upon a video that you guys don't know what the hell I'm saying... This is the warning. You guys have been warned. So. That's it. All the birds are doing fantastic. I got someone coming over this weekend. And um, I think he's going to take. He's going to buy a few birds. Um. Probably guessing the way he said it, this this Cremino uh, Lutino pair, shaft tails, an owl finch, a bronze mannequin, female, and I don't know what else he wanted. So if I have it available, it's available. If not, then no. I have no Ghoulians available right now. All the Ghoulians are not available. Guys, I basically just started with all these bird stuff. I had birds all my life, but everything, I mean, not just, just started, but you know what I mean. I, you know, all these birds are fairly new and um, the success that I'm having, it's great. Let's say I got the magic fingers to breed birds. Some people find it hard you know, struggle with it. Um, let me tell you something. It's all about ventilation, okay? The space of cages that your bird is kept in, the amount of exercise he can take, him or her can take in the cage. Um, for breeding more of the African, I got the three feet by 18 by 18. Temperature. My temperature is anywhere from 75 to 85. It fluctuates in between that. No less than that, you know. That's where it stays right about. My humidity right now is 47. It goes anywhere from 30 to 60. Anywhere in between. Mostly it's from... 40, 42 to 50, 52, 54, stays in between that. But 
I don't complain. It's 47 now. So, um, that's what it has to be, guys. You have to be consistent. You have to be patient. You have to have the birds in good health. Can't have, birds can't be fat. Okay. The room, ventilation, airflow, clean air. There's a lot of steps to it. You just can't buy a bird and put it in a cage and, and all right, you got to start breeding for me. Yeah, you put a zebra finch, society finches, they might do that for you. Not no orange cheek wax bills, lady ghoulians, parrot finches. You might be lucky, you know, but you got to have the space. You got to have the, the correct ventilation, humidity, temperature. It's the, the, the food, the egg food, the vitamins, everything plays a big part. You know, so it's, it takes time. There's a lot of money spent into this hobby. And, um, but this is what we do. This is, um, let's say it, let's face it, our addiction. It's an addiction. Because every time you want more. If it's not an addiction, you don't want more. If you go to a pet shop, you go to a bird place, you go anywhere to a bird friend that has birds, and he, you know he has some birds for sale, you're going there with the intentions of buying something. It's an addiction. Okay? But, let's face it, we have to set our addiction, our priorities first, and this comes second. We got to understand that you can't mix the both of them. Remember that, guys. Family first. But enough has been said. Thank you once again, guys, ladies and gents, for watching. Thank you for all the subscribers. Young, old, middle-aged women, men. Everything out there, this world is a little bit, you know, different from now, from back then, but we all breathe the same air. That's all that matters. I'm here for anyone that needs uh, help, that needs advice. If I can help and give you guys advice, um, I'm only uh, a text away. That's it. Thank you guys, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye now.